Anna, how are you? Doing good, doing good. I was just saying that um, where I know we're getting, I don't know if you ever follow the solar activity, the solar flares. Um, mm -hmm. And I was even going to say that's something that, you know, I think the, the chi coil, and I will get into that, the frequency healing can really support with that. But we're getting bombarded right now with a lot of solar activity and a lot of solar flares. Mm -hmm. And I think that really hits people's nervous systems. So frequency healing is super helpful for that. I don't know if you ever feel that. Do you ever feel affected by the solar activity or well, do you, are you I'm, aware of it? Not, I'm pretty sure I am affected by it, uh, like moon yeah. phases and all that, and planetary phases. I'm quite sensitive, but I don't actually track it. So I don't know when it's happening. But I know yeah. that happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes so tell it's us better not to know. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's better. Ignorance is bliss, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's happening with the solar flares now that you got me interested? I want to know. <laughs> well, they're ramping up in the last, I think, two or three days. You know, they've been ramping up the last several years. But the last two or three days, we've had just tons of m-class solar flares which is a pretty high a pretty high strength uh solar flare and then coronal mass ejections and i'm not an expert on this i don't study it enough but um it's 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 hitting i know that it affects us because it affects our technology it aff affects the earth's grid so it can't not affect our physical bodies um, and it's something that I talk about a little, you know, here and there, I used to talk about it a little bit more because I think it kind of goes hand in hand with ascension symptoms that people are, are talking about more because essentially it's light that's coming in and hitting us. We're receiving a lot of light codes and light um, that we're having to integrate. And there's a lot of different beliefs on this. You know, you could get really woo-woo with it or really science-y with it. But it, essentially, it's energy that is definitely hitting the planet that is affecting us. And it can cause earthquakes and it can cause different um, earth shifts. So, mm -hmm. you know, I just think it's something interesting to track. And I know for myself, I'm very sensitive. I feel it come in. Um even like a couple days before and I just can if I'm not grounded it can turn into anxiety or I just have a ton of energy that I've got to do something with mm -hmm. um so yeah I don't know it's kind of it's an interesting thing to track especially is that, the, in, is that the effect that most people get is they just have a lot of extra energy well, it's either what I've noticed with myself and with clients is either extra energy or complete exhaustion. And I think it just depends at the with what frequency you're at. Um, mm -hmm. And sometimes there can be different symptoms. You can have body aches, headaches, you can't sleep at night or you need to sleep all day. It affects everybody a little bit differently. But I would say just like tool wise, the most important or helpful thing is to ground and to hydrate yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah i it's went out to do some qigong qigong practice today helps you ground and yes. that makes you, feel, makes you feel a lot better it sure does especially if you feel exhausted um yeah so sometimes you feel tired you don't know why especially in the summertime you feel like taking a nap all the time because probably because of all the solar energy <laughs> yeah yeah no really very true. I've been incorporating more qigong into. Oh my god, I love that water container. <laughs> Very big. That's awesome. That's some real white. Wait, hold on. I got my water. <laughs> oh. Yours oh, is a cool. cooler there shape, though. <laughs> more, more light things happening. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, yeah, hydration is key, and I've been incorporating more qigong. I'm a huge fan of qigong too. It's an amazing mm -hmm. practice. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it, whenever I go out to do it, I just feel so much better. Um, yeah. And it's, um, I kind of developed my own Qigong because I walk my dogs. And then I do the Qigong while I'm walking the dogs. You know, so oh, it's awesome. kind of walking, walking Qigong. Usually people don't, you're not supposed to really walk that much during Qigong. So I, I kind of have a walking Qigong routine. <laughs> that's cool. That's yeah. multitasking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I've been loving the chi coils. So David was kind enough to send me the chi coils to try. And they have been, I mean, 
I have really been feeling them. Like I said, I'm very sensitive to energy. And mm -hmm. there's how many different frequencies do you have on here that people can have it? Over 10,000 frequencies. Wow. That's yeah. yeah. I know You'll I haven't probably never, through. you never use them all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. And it's funny. I go and play one and I'm like, well, wait a second. I want to, I want to play the other one. And I, I end up not even going through the whole one. Um, yeah. You never they, use them all. Like yeah. all the, all the RIFE frequencies, we got 10,000, 800 quantum frequencies. Um, yeah, you'll, you'll spend a long time playing them all. Like I played them all and, you know, now I kind of use only like maybe 20 of them because I just know which ones work well for me. Yeah. So, yeah, we have these smaller ones too, but you got the nice, nice Chico 3S. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, these are yeah. incredible. So do you, can you just briefly explain what these are, how to use them, if you want to just go into it? Okay, well, these are like wireless chargers for your body. You know how cell phones, you know, they just rest on a charger these days. They don't have to plug into the wires. And it's because it's using a electromagnetic field. So it's like an energy field that charges your phone. That's why you don't even have to be touching it. If you put the wireless charger just like a couple centimeters away from the phone, it still charges the phone. So you don't actually have to make contact with something to get charged up. So what these do is they actually charge up your cells in your body using the same technology. It's called induction. So it creates this energy field. It's called an electromagnetic field. Uh, using sound and using electricity, uh, it creates an electromagnetic field. And you can use a little magnet that comes with the system and when it's plugged in right now it's not plugged in when it's plugged in you play the frequency it's, it's going to vibrate in your hand you tried that right mm -hmm. yeah so that just shows you and then makes you feel okay yeah it's actually working there's actually a magnetic field that's active on this coil um, but you don't need the magnet because you can just put it in front of you on your desk right or you can put it in your pocket and you're receiving that energy and getting charged up with it 24 7 if you want um, you don't need to use it that long. Most people use it for, let's say, 30 minutes or just like five minutes even, depending on how much you need, right? Uh, and once you have it charging up your body, then it's going to give you that energy, that replenishment that your uh, nervous system needs, that your brain needs, uh, that all the cells need in your body. So cool. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I immediately felt the difference. I can tell if it's on so i was using the magnet in the beginning but we have hand chakras right and i'm always, mm -hmm. I'm always facilitating energy healing with my hands but when mm -hmm. it's on it immediately starts moving my hand oh, yeah in that direction yeah and yeah, i've nice. actually noticed so you for the ones with two you have a yin one and a yang one mm -hmm. so what um I wanted to ask, what would you suggest you use the, what frequencies would you suggest you use these? Well, you will use the same frequencies for both of them. It's, it's like a, just okay. a different expression of that energy. So because they're wound differently, they're going opposite directions. So the yang, yeah, you, the yin. Yeah, so the my yin, hand moves the opposite direction. Yeah. <laughs> really? Okay. So you're, you're yeah. very sensitive, so you can feel it. So a lot of people can't feel it without using the magnet. But you can feel it because you're sensitive and this is, you know, your work. Um, so, yeah, you can actually feel the movement of the of the, the spiral. That's great. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and, you know, if you if you practice Qigong, you know, or, or you study any kind of like, um, you know, Chinese philosophy, uh, there's yin and yang. Even in science, there's yin and yang. Everything in the universe is yin and yang. You know, we got the electrons, we have negative, positive, right? Uh, charges on electrons we have like negative charges on on atoms and nucleuses and stuff like that um we have uh you know we have darkness we have light so everything we have we have polarity we have female we have male so there's polarity um throughout in, the entire um creation or entire universe and it's the basic fundamental concept of how energy flows there's mm -hmm. a positive and then a negative so that's what inspired me to create the yin and yang coils. And because I discovered that if you wound in a different direction, it gives you a different feeling. So I actually, Hannah, if you want to give it a try later on, is actually just use one at a time and see what the difference in the feeling is. And you're going to notice that 
the the yin is more relaxing and expansive and the yang is going to be more focusing and like um, activating. So, um, and I realized that I said, oh, let's call it yin and yang. Let's call it chi coils. But it's not until later that I found out actually those effects were written about or, or um, documented thousands of years ago about yin energy and the yang energy. And now you can feel it by just using a device, which is uh, quite phenomenon, uh, phenomenal because um, my, my um, kind of vision is to bring out or, or to uh, champion the old ways, the ancient ways, but using modern technology and combining that so that anyone can access it without having to you know, practice Qigong, which is great to know, but then not everybody has time. Everybody's busy. Nobody has time to meditate. Um, I want to give it people an easy way that they can meditate, they can receive Qi energy um, just by turning something on. So that's, yeah. that's how, and, and to use this new technology that I've developed and to make it, make it easy, accessible, and like intuitive so that anybody who wants to experience chi, they can experience chi just like that. Yeah, that's super cool. And I would, I mean, if you're, I always say there, there are like no quick fixes, but this gets as close as it gets <laughs> to a quick yeah. fix, I would say. And I, it really is, I think it's the future. It's also, like you said, it's ancient. It's ancient modalities. Um, with So can you d just briefly describe the sound frequencies and how that, affects the body and how um sound can be used as a tool um yeah so we have lots of different frequencies um we have 800 quantum frequencies higher quantum frequencies so for example here is a um here is a frequency i'm gonna play right now this is uh called the dmt one of the dmt frequencies we have oh shit <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm gonna blast off out of here. <laughs> yeah. So it has a mild that effect. Some people, played with some people listen to this and they get a pretty intense effect. Some people have a mild effect. But like when you listen to this, a lot of people just get kind of zoned out for a while. I mean, they get a little bit spacey. Yeah. So um, you could see my my energy starts moving there. <laughs> so. Yeah, I start when I start channeling energy, I start rocking. <laughs> yeah, me too. Cool. I do. That happens to me too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like cool. your spine just moves by itself. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, awesome. so this is one of our advanced frequencies. We call it higher quantum because we just we have many different dimensions of things happening here. So, for example, we have like. Um, uh, like we take the molecular structure of DMT because we know the structure. You can just go online and see what dimethyltryptamine looks like. And then we make a 3D model on computer and we spin it around and then we extract all the numbers coming out from, from the computer program. And then we create this frequency. Then we add a lot of different like layers into it that um, based on like cycle active triggers uh, that come from some specific frequencies we know or patterns that we know is going to trigger some hallucinogenic kind of uh, effects in the mind. So we kind of, kind of create a cocktail of this, um, these frequencies that like do different things to the mind and give you that altered state. So, so that's yeah, kind of how we that. make our, Yeah, that's kind of how we make our frequencies, right? We, we layered it, we make a cocktail of different ways and different techniques to make the frequency. Um, you know, it's, so we go a lot more than just sulfedrol, which is like 528, we play one thing and then you know, we just hear that one you note know, for the whole 10 minutes. You know, we don't do that. We, we go a lot further than that. We, we really um, go into how to keep effect changing the mind. I mean, keep affecting and keep, keep stimulating the brain with these frequencies. So that's, that's something very different that nobody really else is doing uh, with the sound therapy. So what we have is we have like frequencies for sound therapy. We also have frequencies that uh, or more specifically for the coil. Uh, and then there's some of them that can be used both ways. Cool. Super cool. Someone's asking, do you have a frequency that stimulates melatonin? You mean for sleep? For sleep. Uh, yeah, we have a sleep frequency. It's free. So if once you... Um, actually, it's not... It's free on the... Um, once you get the system, it comes with it. 
It has a free a sleep frequency. I actually listen to it every night. Let's see if I can find it on my computer. It might not be on here. So you're you're saying that whatever the the frequency is that you're bringing through, you are finding. It. Well, for DMT, you're finding the molecule, but let's say for like the, the and sorry, I know you're look, we're talking about sleep here. Um, let's say for like the calm and grounded uh, frequency that you have on here, what is the energy that you're pulling that from, or how are you finding? Are you working There's with different techniques, as I, say, as I said, right? So, like, for example, this one's the falling asleep frequency. Uh huh. And it makes you a little bit drowsy just listening to it. Uh, so we, what we combine here is something called uh, isochronic tones, right? Just a, oh, oh. so it's just one beat per second. So it, get, it just gets you into that uh, one hertz frequency, just slows down your brain waves, just like the, just the tapping. And then these, these, these beats and these notes, and what these notes do is um, also bring down your, uh, slow down your mind. And they're not like, um, they're not notes that you would find on the keyboard because they're notes based on brain waves. And they keep okay. changing. They're never always the same note that repeats. They kind of adjust themselves so that the mind keeps getting stimulated. Because what happens is if you play the same note over and over again, your mind zones out and doesn't, doesn't affect it as much. So every time there's a note, we keep changing the frequency slightly and based on the algorithm to to keep stimulating the mind so you listen to this 10 minutes um for 10 minutes before you sleep and you sleep like a baby yeah i tried it the other night and i it, it, i was out <laughs> it within yeah. probably like two or three i mean even right now i'm like oh i'm like getting real tired here <laughs> yeah so grounding frequency like we got another grounding frequency let me see you find another one here so one i really like for grounding frequency is um sun frequency uh or is it okay called the um life force frequency let's see if i can find it here this one says it's emf protection as well yeah it, it does that i mean as long as you raise your body's vibration you're gonna get emf protection right so um pretty much everything that you do here with our frequencies and our coils would give you emf protection because you are raising your your resonance as you know, once your biofuel gets stronger, it's going to be naturally more resistant to EMF uh, um, effects. EMF, like this one, helps to e expand the biofuel, so that's why there's EMF protection in it. And this one's good for grounding, sound of the sun. So yeah, that's that's one really good for grounding. It's, it's got this pulsing, like this, like it's like a purring cat kind of. Uh, would you suggest? Um, I've actually not been able to listen to it at the same time. Um, so would you suggest listening to it? I know you don't specifically have to. Yeah, but it... so you, what you do is you can, you have a splitter there that there's a white cable that has um, two, two um, connectors. I'll show uh -huh. you. Yeah, right you just on. connect the, you just connect them separately. So you can, so um, this goes into the, into the, uh, into the gold thing, right? Uh -huh. One of the. And then you connect. Uh, so instead of connecting two coils, you'll connect one coil and one, the other one with your speaker. Uh, Got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So so you, unless you have another one, then you can connect another speaker and you can use two coils. But right now, you only have one of these. So you can connect uh, one coil and one headphone. Okay. One coil. Cool. Yeah. All right. I'm excited to try that. Yeah, so um, combining that sound and the and the magnetic field is uh, is recommended. It is okay. Okay, cool. One of my favorite ones that I've been using is the brain and heart coherence oh, yeah. one, or heart and mind connection. Yeah, that's a good one. I've been using that quite a bit. Um, that's something I, I talk about quite a bit and I facilitate quite a bit in my meditations. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've been using it. So I did go live the other day and facilitated quantum healing and people were going crazy. I, not only was <laughs> my energy off the charts, um, but people were really like in a good way. It was just like very potent frequency that was coming through and you could really, I feel like people could really tell the difference with me using these tools. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm playing it right now. <laughs> that's the heart and mind connection. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can feel it totally. Yeah, you definitely can. Yeah. Have you ever had people record guided meditations with this? I haven't looked. Do you, I know you have no, some kind of. You haven't. No. No, but it would be cool if we did something like that. Yeah. Um, we'd just be focusing on the frequencies themselves and not really much into the guided meditations. I would love to, to explore that with you if you're open to that because it's kind of, it's my specialty. I do guided hypnosis uh, and transmissions. Mm -hmm. I think it could be really powerful to couple that for subconscious reprogramming, quantum yeah. healing. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We we are starting a new website, and on that site, it's going to have um, all the frequencies, and then cool. uh, we probably can add those uh, guided med meditations in into that um, platform somehow. That would like, be awesome. We could, like we could for, probably we could like potentially just have the guided med meditation, and they can use let's say a guided meditation with any of the frequencies, and then play both at the same time. That's a good idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, I love that idea. And I can even make custom meditations based on frequencies as well. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. And then... Um, That'd be really cool. Good idea. Yeah. This is the brain and heart connection one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so what so what I typically do with people to create brain heart and coherence, um, it, it's obviously the intention. Um, but I use a, so I use a lot of imagery. Um, and what you can do just to give people this if they want to um, kind of visualize this while we're talking, you can use a bold infinity symbol that crosses over your throat. So it comes down from your heart, crosses over your throat, comes up through your mind, through your third eye or crown and back down. And then you sink your breath with that. So as you breathe in, you pull that energy up and you see the gold energy kind of light up. And then as you breathe out, you sink energy down. And that really, I, I found that that technique really helped for me, especially you know, right now so many people or in high stress and anytime you're in really feeling a lot of stress you're up here you're in the yeah. mind too much or in the ego too much um so the, creating the brain heart co coherence i think is like one of the most important things right now for all of us so that we can start coming back into the heart and thinking with the heart or rather feeling with the heart <laughs> Yeah. Um, but if you're driven just by this, it's just going to, it will turn to chaos and stress at some point. <laughs> totally. Yeah. I love that one. Um, can you, so this frequency, the Trinity, yeah. I played that, I think I played it overnight. Yeah. And I played it in the morning in meditation. And then I had, I facilitated, I just completed it, a program where I was facilitating yeah. a meditation workshop and yeah. my energy, I swear I was not in this dimension, not on this planet whatsoever. <laughs> and I, like, I thought, okay, I guess I've ascended. I'm not here anymore. And I know it's part of this because when I play this Trinity frequency, so this is called quantum frequencies, Trinity, the three most sacred frequencies, God connection. And it, it's yeah. it's spiritual connection or spiritual awakening. And it says expand your consciousness to experience joy and experience light body activation. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I was off the charts um, in frequency wow. with that. So how can I ask, how did you come up with that frequency or how did you guys create that frequency? It's, it's actually quite simple, right? There's three um, universal uh, numbers that make up the world one is a circle one is a spiral and one is like a triangle so we just take that number and we create the frequency with it that's all cool. <laughs> that's so cool what are are those numbers is it the three six nine 
or is that that's not it? No, that's not it. That's different. That's not it. Yeah. No, that's not I'm it. Looking at it's, something uh, else here. They're secret numbers, but but basically, um, you, you can find, probably figure out it's a circle, right? A circle okay. is, uh, you know, everything's a circle. <laughs> you know, planets are circles, our cells are circles, right? So, so that makes up the majority of the universe. There's a spiral, right, which makes up the majority, or 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 um, or, or chakras are spirals, galaxies are spirals, uh, corals are spirals, and uh, sunflowers uh, are spirals, and the triangle. Right. Golden <laughs> so, ratio? Is it the golden ratio? Yeah. That's one Fibonacci? Of them. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's one of them. <laughs> that was good, Samuel. <laughs> Somebody t uh, typed that in. Yeah. I, I was just like astound astounded with how much my frequency was just going nuts with that. And mm -hmm. I, you know, like I said, I, I'm, um, cathartic templar um what's up phil how are you um yeah i mean i'm someone who again is super sensitive to energy but even you know trying these i thought oh you know maybe i'll maybe i'll feel it maybe i won't it's like no <laughs> i'm feeling this <laughs> right away <laughs> and so is everybody else that i'm you know they're not even close in the vicinity of these but i because <laughs> i'm using it as a way to facilitate mm -hmm. quantum healing, they're receiving the effects too. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited to keep playing around with it in my uh, meditations and transmissions. It's just super powerful. Yeah. Yeah, I've got something uh, even cooler I want to show you soon too. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Maybe next time. Um, but we, we have some, we have another layer of uh, energy on top of the all the sound, the electromagnetic energy, we have another another layer of it that, that we have that I can show you some other time. Cool. Very, very cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, it's absolutely the the future of medicine. You know, even Einstein is quoted as that. All future medicine is frequency healing. Um, mm -hmm. And I think, you know, you're obviously, you're way ahead of it, but it's, it's coming for sure. Um, can I ask you a question about the rife frequencies mm -hmm. to facilitate the rife free frequencies? First, what are those? How are those different from, from these? Um, they're, they're not for meditative purpose. Um, okay. The, the RIFE was not supposed to use the word because they, they shadow ban you when they use the word R. Oh, rife, so sorry. Rife. So, so the RIFE frequencies, um, they're invented by Dr. Royal, right? And he, back in the 19, uh, I think 19, 1950s or so, uh, he used frequencies using a radio radio um, transmitter to uh, basically treat uh, 14 or I think 13 cancer patients. It's term, these are stage four cancer patients. And he was able to heal all of them. So they all were healed from the C word. And, um, but then they shut down his uh, research, and then they allegedly they assassinated him. So since then, um, people still have those frequencies that he's discovered, and they um, basically re replicated his work. And then they went on to develop more and more of these frequencies. And how they work is basically, let's say that you have a glass like this. If you sing into a glass, you see this on YouTube, if you sing the right pitch, you make the glass break because it's going to shake that glass with the resonant frequency so violently, you can't see it, but it's gonna shake it so so violently that the glass will shatter. So same things happens to anything. Depend, it all depends on the geometry of it. So you figure out the geometry of, like, let's say, a, like a leukemia cell or something like that. You, you figure out how big it is, how long the tail is. You can play a frequency to make it shake. And then when it shakes so violently, eventually it can explode. So that's what he did. He was able to make these C or cells explode without harming the good cells. You know, in chemo, what they do is they blast you radi radiation to kill the C cells, but also kill all the good cells too. That's why you lose your hair and then you become very, very weak. Uh, but what he did was he was able to target the bad cells without harming the good cells because they target it with a specific frequency. So. You know, and, and as, as people went along this research, they found that not only can you use 
frequencies to destroy pathogens. Um, you can use frequencies to to reinforce. Okay, so you can use frequencies to destroy, or you can use frequencies to reinforce. If you find the right frequency, you can let's say make a cell membrane small, uh, stronger and harder to harder to break as well. So um, over the last several decades, there's been these scientists that's discovered thousands and thousands of these frequencies. Uh, they've used it with their clients, and you know now we have this database of it. We curated it and we put it into our app and we put it into our, our, our device. So when, when the device comes out, uh, when, when the magnetic energy comes out, it becomes a, a magnetic field. It's kind of like the same radio signal that um, Dr. Royal did use. But we make it a lot simpler because if you look at the RFE machines that people made in the past, they're about the size of, I don't know, the size of like a big giant, the whole table, the size of a table, right? Mm -hmm. And then you would need to use, um, there'll be all these knobs and switches and and there'll be like these neon tubes and gas tubes, things like that. Um, and that's how they did it because that's how they were able to um, create these um, uh, radio fields back then. But now you don't need any of that. Now you just need this. So we simplified the whole process. We simplified the whole um, technology into using just magnetic coils. Yeah, that's awesome. So can you use the RIFE frequencies with the, the coil? Or yeah, do you so need it's in, you have it. So in your tablet, you have another app that's got RIFE on it. That's where you find the 10,000 other frequencies on there. Oh, okay. So I, I wasn't sure if you needed a separate device for, no, for this. No, you use the same device. Wow. Okay. Oh, cool. So, oh, I'm excited to try that. Yeah, so it, I mean, it's just un, unmatched of how much you can do with this. Yeah, really. Um, it's just, uh, you'll never finish using all the frequencies. And then we have over 10,000 of those. It's condition specific. So for example, I was able to heal myself from my ulcerative colitis from it um, because they have like 10 or 20 different frequencies for that. Anything to do with digestion, like for gut health or for inflammation or for... Uh, uh, internal bleeding, internal wound healing, and, and and all those sorts of different things. So for internal fitness, this is probably one of the best things you can do, right? Yeah. To heal yourself internally. A lot of the things uh, that in tradition, uh, in conventional medicine doesn't heal you internally. A lot of medication doesn't, yeah. doesn't work, right? And uh, they have to cut you open, right? They cut you open in order to take something out, and then they cut it. And then what happens is most of the time that doesn't fix it, and it grows back. And it doesn't really fix the problem. So uh, internal healing is so important. Internal fitness is so important. Internal health, right? Your organs, your nervous system, blood circulation system, cardiovascular system, all those are so important. Uh, more important than the muscles or your skin or, your, or, you know, how you look on the outside. You got to have like really healthy on the inside. So what these coils do is they, they go straight through your body. No, it doesn't matter if you're really fat, like 300 pounds, it'll still go through and penetrate your skin, your, your, your fat cells, your, your muscle cells, your ligaments, even your bones, it goes straight through because it's a ma magnetic field. And now you can charge up every single cell in your body with it and go straight down to the source of any yeah. issue problem. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Somebody asked, and I, there's one more question, Samuel, I'll get back to you. Um, but since we're on this topic, someone asked, how does it work for brain damage? Brain damage, um, well, I can't claim that it's going to do anything, like heal anything. I can't make any claims, but how I understand it, um, it does stimulate the brain. So if there's some kind of uh, like um, activity in the brain that, um, you know, got damaged and somehow some of the neurons or some of the uh, like physically damaged in your brain, then you need to get those um, signals to rewire or find another pathway, right? So what this does is it's, it helps to stimulate the brain. It helps to stimulate the, um, at least the sound frequencies will do it, right? It'll help to stimulate the activity in the brain. So that may, may um, help with, you know, creating more activity in parts of the brain that you need it to be yet. So, um, and then there are, there are frequencies for dementia, Alzheimer's and things like that. 
and mm. autism, we have frequencies for those. So, um, and people use them and a lot of them get really good results with them. Um, on that note, do you have any frequencies for restless leg syndrome? Or... Oh, yeah, that's, that's easy. Yeah. That's easy. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> That's easy. Just that's just a nerve situation. So one of the easy, simple, like surefire things that it does is to calm and calm the nervous system, and to um, help with inflammation. Um, those are the surefire things it does. Okay. Like, so I had to ask. I say it's easy. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, that's what I had figured. Um, I had asked because I had have read that that can be related to Parkinson's because I, I think there's some studies that it's restless leg syndrome. And this is, I'm asking for my dad. So it's a little bit of a personal question here because he experiences that. Um, but it's a product of low dopamine production. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just curious if that, if that is a diff, a if there's a specific frequency for that. Um, yeah. I mean, we have lots of, um, joy luck you know joy and luck frequencies um there's one actually for joy if you look for you look for that one that might help and the luck yeah. boost one help um those would definitely make you feel happier and probably um you know increase dopamine production in your brain it may do that because uh you, you if you're feeling good that's that's probably what's happening yeah and to your point in regards to the um previous question i think you're creating an environment for healing and the body is always wanting to heal itself and i think we've been kind of conditioned in our medical model to think that there your body is always against you or that you know you're just gonna get sick at some point and yeah we live in a society and in a world where we're where we're bombarded with negative frequencies in the food system and um you know the obviously the emf and being on our phones and all that but your body really wants to heal itself and when you yeah. create an environment through frequency healing through you know supporting your ner nervous system you will find that your body starts to naturally come back to equilibrium um yeah right yeah the ancient text that text i mean there's people who lived out uh, hundreds of years um, right, and and we kind of think that it's just exaggeration, but I don't think it's exaggeration because they did a uh, study in um, I think Harvard, and they have this chicken heart that they kept alive for thirty years, and they did it just by cleansing out the toxins and just giving it nutrients and make sure that making sure that it's healthy, um, and that's all they did. And this chicken heart is still beating after thirty years. So, which means that like we may not actually have to age. Humans may not actually have to age because most of the, like, what you said, like traditional medicine thinks that we're all on a one-way trip to hell and our body's just gonna keep deteriorating until we like go crazy and our minds and our body is just gonna keep dying and deteriorating. And it's just like, just like one dark road uh, to, to hell. Um, but it doesn't have to be like that. Like you said, like our body, naturally heals our body is naturally resilient our body is naturally healthy strong and um you know we possibly may not even have to age one day once we figure out how, out how to do it and i think that frequency is probably one major key aspect of that because if you can change the frequency of your cells they may never have to age they may never have to um they they, they will be able to cleanse out toxins much better. Mm -hmm. They'll be able to absorb nutrients much better uh, when it, it's, it's vibrating at the right frequency. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that and definitely believe it. Um, and it's been proven. It's not like this is, um, to your point, you know, we have many, many people that have lived well beyond 100. And I think it is a, definitely also a product of um, conditioning people into believing that they are going to die soon they're aging and just you know whatever is running up here whatever software programming is running up here is looping and it that also affects the body um mm -hmm. actually on that note do you have any frequencies that you would suggest specifically for reprogramming the subconscious mind or probably all well, of them? we have anti we have anti-aging frequencies 
Oh, cool. So we have longevity anti aging ingredients. It's like, for example, we have NAD, we have NMN. Those are nootropics. Those are very, very good for the brain. Oh, very so cool. For, yeah. Those, so, what are those under? Gosh, I'm, uh, I don't think I've even scratched the surface on here. Like you said. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably in one of the categories in there. Um, but okay. we have NAD. We have, um, yeah, we have NAD and NMN for uh, long, brain longevity, which is key for maintaining um, brain health. So we have those awesome. frequencies. So frequencies nobody else has. We have lots of them nobody else has um, because, because nobody knows how to do it, except we do. Nobody knows how to do it, how to actually make frequencies from molecular structure. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Okay, there was one other question on here. Hopefully he's still in here. Um, somebody asked, would this, would this neutral, would the mini neutralize a 300 square foot office? No, it's too small. So you'll need um, 300 square foot would be like, like, like 12 by 12, something like that, 13 by 13. So uh, you probably at least need a uh, Chico Max for that. Okay. Yeah, Chico Max. So... Um, that will cover a small room. If you have anything bigger, like 3,000 square foot, then you need an aura coil, like you see this one here. Yeah. That's going to cover 3,000 square feet. So these are too yeah. strong. These will be too strong for, like, like if you sit in front of it, it's too strong. You can If you sit in front of it, you'll need it for five minutes, and then that's enough. You really? don't want to play it long. Yeah. Like, and that's not even playing full power. Like playing playing full power, you maybe need it for like a minute, and then that's enough. That's all you need all day. So that's how strong they are. Um, but these are intended to be like put against the wall at, in the house or in the middle of the house, and you play it at you know at a low volume, uh, and that will cover three thousand square feet or an office. So so right now we're actually um, getting these into like corporate training offices, and um, cool. we're getting yeah. So we put them in there, and then they're going to have much better work performance, much less stress. That's the key, right? Everybody's stressed out at work. We're going to reduce the stress levels. We're going to um, reduce the sick times. We're going to increase the job retention as well because people are happier at their work. Um, yeah. so, we, so we can save companies hundreds of thousands of dollars and millions of dollars in in, uh, in human resources and in, and yeah. in productivity. The oral coil, you know, someone said, I got to save up for that. It's on my wish list, too. I'm going to manifest that oral coil, too. I would love to have that in my house. It's also yeah. just beautiful. Someone said, um, can we get a closer look of the or? I mean, it, it is kind of like a work of art. Yeah, that thing is freaking badass. I'm going to play the abundance frequency and manifest it. <laughs> So you see, there's these the gems. These are sapphires. Whoa! These are actual sapphires, real sapphires. The gold plated, stainless steel, and and what is the purpose of the sapphire? It was like a prosperity gem. God, I'm telling. I know. Do you not have it on? I turned it off right now. Oh yeah, because I feel it. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, just so you know, I know you probably don't have it on, but I feel it. Even looking at it, I'm like sweating. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't even turned it on. No, it's too strong. I, I I can't really turn it on that long, so I get really like over overcharged if I turn it on. So yeah. I, if I use it, I'll use it for a minute and turn it off. So. Yeah, it might be even too much, but yeah. I, I still am going to get one. <laughs> yeah, we can work on that. <laughs> Absolutely. I'd love to. Can you, I would love to bring that actually to retreats. Um, yeah, we, have it, we have people with, that use these at retreats. They love it. You do? Oh, yeah. cool. Amazing. Yeah, that's exactly what I would, I would use um, that for is group group in-person group meditation so it's is it it's easily portable or you probably have um, to yeah you, you can get a bag and you can just carry it um cool it's not well honestly it's not that easily portable but it's doable yeah 
right? You okay. can you can carry the bag, but then you gotta bring the uh, the transducer, which is another piece. But it's only two things you need to bring. Okay. And the tablet, so it's it's doable. Yeah, you can put it in the car, you put it in the trunk, it will, it will, or put it okay. in the back seat. Yeah. Have you had anyone um, experiment using sound? So I facilitate sound healing journeys as well. Have people used the chi coil or the oral, oral coil with I, yeah. sound journeys? Like, I mean, um, you know, we have doctors, we have like, physicians, we have therapists. They are using our stuff. Hypnotherapists, uh, chiropractors, uh, wound healing doctors. Um, oncology doctors, people treating people for all sorts of different things. They're using our technology. So yeah, um, sound healing is uh, one of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm, I would, I'm going to play around with is playing the frequencies in the background. And then our goal is to get into more clinics and get into yeah. more uh, offices. That's going to be happening. That's already happened, but we want to kind of get more into that. That's once the... Um, and then we're doing a lot more R and D. We're going to do some um, clinical studies and things like that, so awesome. we, we can show on paper that um, you know it actually does this to the brain or actually does this to the body. Yep. Awesome! So cool! So cool! We need a we need an aura coil in every hospital. <laughs> yeah, that would help a lot. Um, yeah, we'll get there. Mm -hmm. We just have to get past, you know, big pharma. <laughs> pharma, um, maybe, yeah. But you know, a lot of the the, the, the hospitals are pri uh, privatized, right? But you just need to know the right people. You can probably get something done. This is amazing okay. and beautiful. Thanks, Eric Eric King Volstad, and um, hey, Simi, can you please discuss the increase in IQ? Okay, so we actually have frequencies for intelligence. Um, that. The they are they are inner circle frequencies. So we have frequencies for brain cognition, for memory, for um, brain stamina, for um, what else? Problem solving and intelligence. And it's basically um, frequencies that once again stimulate different parts of your brain using sound and using magnetic waves. Um, and it's really quite effective. Like they can help you to just be a lot more aware, a lot more alert, and solve problems faster, like do mathematical like calculations faster, have better memory. Uh, so we have those frequencies for that. Everything is frequency, and we have everything with frequencies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, that's why it works. Everything is frequency. I started with just the sound frequencies, and I uh, was able to experience some really positive changes and I said, wow, this stuff is really works. Because I was a musician, I'm a musician too. And I always knew that music can affect mm -hmm. your mood and things like that. But I didn't know that music can actually heal you to that level and get you into these uh, altered mind states. And I discovered something um, with my meditation, with uh, using the frequencies. Is wow, I, like, I'm experiencing these really, really vivid, um, you know, these vivid meditation experiences. And it's from the frequencies. Um, never happened to me before. So I, so I went more deeply into that study. And then I discovered, whoa, you can actually use devices too to kind of like go deeper into that experience. And ever since I used devices, I, I said, wow, I, now I got to use devices. There's no, no, nothing even close to that. So, so you may have to go through the same journey that I did. That's what, what I'm, I'm saying is that you may, you know, start with a free frequency downloaded. And just experience what this technology is about. Experience what frequencies can do to your mind and to, to your body. And then later on, you can start investing in, in it more. Yeah, I love that. And like I said, I'll be using them in my, my lives and my meditations. And I'll be sharing what frequencies I'm using. So it's another way people can tune into it. So yeah. I just released a new book. Right now, it's a bestseller. Um, uh, so okay. it's, and, and in it, I talk about everything related to chi and especially about the scientific research and the experiments done about chi energy and you're going to be shocked like what these scientists were able to prove and it talks about my story of how i was able to heal myself and i transformed my life with chi energy learn everything about chi yes and that's called life of chi 
on Amazon. Yeah. Awesome. T-Y. Awesome. And in that you have the science, the um, scientific studies. Yeah. Or discuss it. Cool. Cool. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. I got to go grab one. <laughs> How long did it take you to write that amazing book? It took 15 years. <laughs> Whoa. 15 years to write okay, it. Okay. So it's talk full. Well, 15 years of life experience, but six months to write. So, but 15 years because <laughs> it took that long to get the life experience it's we're spreading the word of of energy healing which is just supportive to help all of us get out of the old system (laughs) and the old structures that are definitely um this is like the perfect integration i would say if you understand like the spiritual world of new earth right that's Mm -hmm. new world that's starting to birth like this is it this is part of the technology i think that's coming online um and starting yeah. to manifest itself. You know, in my introduction, I says, imagine a healing future. And that's exactly what I talk about. I just basically say, you know, in, in the future, there won't be any pharmaceuticals anymore because we can just use frequencies to um, affect ourselves um, directly. We don't need to take pills. And we're just using frequencies. You don't need to go to the doctor because there's going to be artificial intelligence that's tell you know can measure what you need and then just gives you that frequency that day and monitors you 24 yeah. 7 and uh we don't need to do any cutting or surgery you just use frequencies to go deep into the body and to fix or remove or or to heal whatever is inside of you internally just like in star trek right they use the some kind of tricorder <laughs> <laughs> they use a they use a beam to heal that, those wounds instantly that's not very far away um, and you know everybody would be yeah. so optimally healthy that they can focus more on doing higher what their higher calling is, rather than just surviving and you know um, suffering and things like that. They would be so healthy and so with so much energy and so much positive um, mentality, and also uh, with their brain power at the maximum, we'd be able to unlock people's mind power. They say that we only use about 10 to 20 percent of our brains, but what if we can unlock 50 percent or 70 percent or 100 percent of that brain using frequencies? And eventually we can do that because frequencies can change our DNA. Frequencies can change our gene expression. So we can actually alter the way that we look, alter the way that we become, including our brain using frequencies that's been proven already. So it's very near future. We'd be able to use frequencies, to basically program ourselves to be anything that we want to program our minds to do anything that they want to be like even superhuman. So not, that's what I talk about in the book. And, and it gives a lot of inspiration to people and it gives people a lot of hope because when they read it and say, well, this is not just all sci-fi. There's actual science behind this. There's actual proof yeah. that this works and there's actual technology yeah. that's doing this right now. <laughs> yeah so, exactly it's not yeah. even about the future it's it's happening it's now <laughs> yeah this is yeah. happening now we yeah. develop technologies like the chi calls for benefit but the government has been using this technology for harm or for control for decades yes. right yep um yep. so so it's just about time that we as the the people have something to at least defend ourselves or something to at least like extend ourselves um, so so that we can have, have, we can bring, we have the control instead of somebody else control. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know. I mean, it's completely bringing the power back to the people. Um, Yeah. I love it. So awesome, David. Everyone says I can totally feel it. Great stuff. Can't wait to get one. Awesome. Thank you guys for tuning in. I mean, you'll see me using these every time I'm on here. So I'll be talking about it a lot more. (laughs) Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Good night. Cool. Thanks, David. Have a good one. Bye-bye.